There's plenty of video online at the moment of people testing so-called potato cannons, ones made out of uh, plastic sewer pipes. And as a matter of fact, we can buy all the necessary materials to build ones in a conventional store. Yes, in a conventional store, but a hardware store where you can buy sewer pipes, hairspray or deodorant, and then a trip to the green grocers for potatoes. We decided to take on the trend and test our own potato cannon. Oh dear, I wonder if someone lost any limbs because of this. Well, Anton Wojciechowski got hit in the eye when shooting this cannon. In fact, we've started with small potato cannon and then passed on to more serious calibers. This is exactly what today's program will tell you all about. Now, we need to fill the evaporation chamber. Open it. Does a deodorant aerosol burn well? Well, in general, yes, it is flammable. Do you have a lighter? I don't smoke, but I have a lighter. Cool, very good, great. So what's the main task here? There must be a certain amount of gas and air inside the evaporation chamber. If there's too much gas, there'll be no explosion, uh-huh, because there will be no oxygen. And if there's too little gas, then accordingly, there won't be enough fuel to shoot the potato. So we fill the chamber. I'll write this down just in case. Oh, I will record it. Here it is, now it's doing great. Okay, perfect. At least we've learned how to shoot the right way. Well, okay, listen, we can't break through plywood anyway. Let's go see how it looks on our target. Well, here it is, yes? Uh-huh. No. Somewhere here. Well, look, at least it's not a bad way to make mashed potatoes. Hey, what if we... cool the potatoes? Uh-huh. Normally, in the barrel, it will get a little mashed due to the fact that the water freezes inside, sure, and it'll become harder on its own. Yes? We can try. What can make that happen? Yeah, but for this, we will need liquid nitrogen. Well, do you have any? Of course. What is the temperature of liquid nitrogen? Minus 196 degrees Celsius. Is it okay that you've brought mittens but you don't use them? Well, it's a thermal bowl I can do without, I see. Without them yet. For a while, this bowl will be safe to hold. Now it's starting to freeze. You see, it's getting firm, but not completely yet. It starts from the outside going inwards. It starts freezing, so we have to let it freeze a little longer. Yeah, look, yes, it has got wider. The water inside has frozen and expanded. Well, so what? Well, I hope everyone will survive. Ready? Yes, fire. That's a different story. Did I get the plywood? Yes. Well, the sound, of course, is much more scary. And we've broken the plywood. When the potatoes are frozen, the potato cannon turns into quite a menacing weapon. Yes, yes. Listen, can we use the nitrogen itself as a propellant charge, not the deodorant? It also expands quite well, am I right? 
Yes, we can. You can try it. We have not done this yet ourselves, but now we can do it for the first time. Now I'll show you how nitrogen expands rapidly. See, we pour the nitrogen into the barrel. See how it's smoking? In fact, this is not nitrogen. This is the moisture surrounding it. It freezes and becomes water vapor. It condenses. Now we will evaporate the entire, entire liquid nitrogen, which is in the barrel with the help of boiling water. Well, on the count of three, come on. One, two, three. That's just to understand that the nitrogen has evaporated and rather quickly. If we use nitrogen as a propellant charge, then our task is to make it expand as fast as possible. Well, yes, so that it gets to a large volume. And now we'll see how the bottle acts if you leave a little bit of liquid nitrogen in it. The bottle turns into a real bomb because when nitrogen becomes gaseous, it expands 700 times and the bottle can't withstand such pressure, so sooner or later, it will explode. Okay, we've made halfway. Now let's go to the place where we'll blow it up, and we'll close it there at the same place, right? Sure, if we screw it on now, then I can't tell for sure when it'll explode, so we better shut it and go away. It may take one second or five minutes. You can't be certain about it. Well, we'll blow it up somewhere here, right? Yes, put the light right here. Close it and run away. Yeah, and we leave, this way. Well, is it generally a safe distance where we're standing now? Yeah, it's quite safe. That is, it will burst into pieces, but at that distance, they will not fly at us so fast. And even if they hit us, they will not do us no harm. Just bounce off. Well, that's good for you. You're wearing glasses. I should have given you a pair too. Is it just me or is the upper part getting inflated? I think I've lost the argument. It was good, but it was cool, yes? Look. Is this the place where the bottle stood by any chance? I guess so. A small hand grenade. That is, by looking at this stone floor, you can imagine what would happen to our gun. And frankly, at that moment, I wouldn't want to hold it in my hands. Naturally, we'll fix it somehow, I suppose. Well, here we've come to the most interesting experiment and the most dangerous for today. We will now use this bottle as a gun. You saw how it exploded. So you prepare the bottle. And since we know how the bottle will act, but we don't know how our gun will, we will charge it and run away. So. Site 20, tube 15, let's go. Oh, these tedious minutes of waiting. We've got to wait. I think it was torn apart. Okay. It 
it stayed here. The potato's here. The potato's here. It's ripped to pieces. Yes. This nitrogen is truly a destructive power. Thanks, Max. Now we know it's better not to make improvised guns using liquid nitrogen. Well, we have another idea. How to use other gases in cannons. You see, we are here not to play some children's games. It's just, after the disappointment of the potato cannons, we decided to move on to more serious things. And we've been thinking long, what would be more interesting to shoot with? So we came to the conclusion that billiard balls would be really fun, right? Yes, this is the story so far. This, of course, is not serious, yes? And it will die in its turn. Now we will prepare a small, modest air cannon that shoots real billiard balls. And we'll check what a billiard ball can do if it is given enough acceleration. We will measure the acceleration, right? Yes. I think we'll measure the destruction. Good, okay. So, as you can see, this is more of a cannon. It was built by Ilya, our FX director. And so probably you should explain how it works in a word or so, go ahead. It's an ordinary air gun. It's ordinary because for shooting it, it uses compressed air. You see, Sonia, we have a trunk. The trunk is not simple. It's not an ordinary water pipe. It's seamless. And the cylinder is hydraulic. Yes, we have a receiver right there at Sasha's side. Look how these balloons are assembled. High pressure balloons, yes. We blow high pressure in through this hose via the one inch section. Fast, and besides fast, how big? Let's give it a try. Well, I'm a hell of a sniper, of course. No, no, no running around is accepted. Okay, okay, it will go along like a parabola. Along like a parabola? Along like a parabola, exactly. Well, come on then, charge it. So, ready? I really would like to see it with my own eyes, but frankly, I'd rather abstain. Well, Igor, does it look like some real cannonry, huh? The target can't be seen. Oh, really? I'm gonna stand like this. I don't even know how to cover up. Sasha, okay, you are in charge. Three, two, one, fire! <laughs> Looks like we've made a hole. So, we've managed to break two balls at once, a cue ball and the other one which was hit. But, moreover, we broke the table. But, 
Ilya, this is already, and not with our ball, yes, not the one we shot with, but this is just a children's table. It is very fragile. And what do you think? Is it possible to accelerate the billiard ball to such a speed that it punched through a real granite table? You know, the question is about the strength of the ball, how strong it is, or the quality of the granite, right? That's also true. And the speed of approach, dead right. Well, we'll try, why not? Maybe let's do an experiment. Go for it. Just for reference, previously we shot at less than 100 atmospheres at 80. Yes, here I think it is necessary to pump up more and prepare, well, and a pool table. By the way, I wanted to get one myself long ago. Well, unfortunately, we have a simplified version of it. Uh, I don't want this version. It's made of real granite. Here is a fragment of the pool table that we have. This is a granite slab of six centimeters. Oh, it's quite solid, yes? Yes. A decent pool table must be made at least four centimeters thick. And if it's six centimeters, that's perfect. You mean this is normal? That it's, it's, this is for real. That's the way it should be. Only there are no sides. Well, how do you think? Is the eight going to make it? Look, I don't know. It sounds like a steel sheet. In fact, you hear, right? All right, let's try. The pressure's a bit higher, isn't it? Yes. Now we have pumped up probably 120. We'll see what we'll have. What? Let's go. Any doubts? We'll see. The main thing for you is to hit. You made yourself a mark, no? The mark? Yes, something like this. Okay, good. I'm ready. Three, two, one, fire. <laughs> Did you see? Our car almost moved off. <laughs> Look, a really good hit. You did an amazing job. Well, that is absolutely unequaled. Pool tables are made out of good material, and the ball is out of a bad one. Well, look, it's not some ball made of bone. I think the bone one would have shattered the same way, maybe even better. Maybe yes. In a movie, when you hide behind an overturned table, it should be a pool table. Look, the idea is good, and maybe we'll try it. Can we break it with a bullet? Come on, we have one? Well, of course. Should I shoot like this? Well, let's see. You know, I think you didn't break it. Well, look, I just hit it precisely. And it's none for the worse. That is, they make good pool tables. Yes, you can't break it even with a bullet. In other words, if a shootout breaks out in a bar, the pool table will definitely protect you. It just takes eight of us to put it sideways. In short, we have found a pool table strength. It is Im impenetrable, invincible. Yes, under any circumstances, a billiard ball will be more fragile than that. That's considering a bullet does nothing to it, then I think the ball will not break it under any circumstance. Well, shall we pass on to a little bigger caliber? Well, let's try. Here comes a bigger caliber. Well, look, the cannon is slightly bigger, and here's the cannon for this caliber. Three, two, one, shoot. It's a wrap. That is, as a matter of fact, a bowling ball is still a weapon.
anyone wanted to know what's inside a bowling ball? By the way, I've always, always wanted... There is another bowling ball, a smaller one, and inside it, there is one more. Wow, it's exciting. Look! That is, now you understand why you can't play pool with bowling balls. No, I now understand why I never hit the pins. And now, the most interesting thing is to find out what will a bowling ball do when released from our air gun, when it hits the pins. An improvised bowling lane. Hell yes. And the pins are 100% real. Yes, just like the balls. <laughs> Strike! No way. Well, after all, you see, we underestimated it a bit. Well, frankly, they disappointed me a little. I thought they would break somehow. Listen, well, they are made to be hit by these. Here, this heavy thing every day, but not the same way we did now. What do you mean, not the same way? You know, I think... We need to increase the caliber, but this time we will increase the caliber of the pins. Now we present to you our final goal for today. This is a two meter pin. Two, one, fire. You need to do it higher. No, that's normal for me. Absolutely in the style of bowling. Well, we have clearly shown you that bowling is a very funny and, in the right combination, destructive sport. And in general, cannons are great and not necessarily loaded with live ammunition. It's just great to shoot. How much fun you can have with a gun. Yes, I hope, and not destruction. Have we broken any federal laws with these guns, by the way? No, don't try to repeat this at home, though. Nothing good will come of it, that's for sure. Yes.